In furtherance of its resolve on a reversal of hiking tuition fees of the Lagos State University, the Save Lasso Movement, a coalition of different rights groups, has re echoed its voice. <laughs> The movement has been organizing rallies since January, all gets was the reversal of the last two fees amongst other demands. But so far, that has not happened as the Lagos state government continues to dig in. This time, the group brought together different rights activists to bear their minds on the topic, how fee hike and commercialization kills public education, Lasso as a case study. For truly, power belongs to the people. And we have seen this happen all over the world. You are having a meeting with the governor. I was talking to somebody the other day, I think, was it Soweto? I was not there when uh, the students gathered, I think, at the governor's, uh, at the government house. And uh, I think from what I was told, the governor uh, found it difficult to enter. The governor now asked to meet with the students. The governor did not ask to meet with you people because the governor was in love with you people or because the governor appreciated what you were doing. He asked to meet you people because you made him do that. You put him in that position where he had no choice. And this struggle has been going on for quite some time. So I want to appreciate every single one of you that is here today. When the people are not educated, the society goes into darkness. I don't understand how somebody who is educated will not see the value of education. Fathers who never had the opportunity to be educated realize the importance of education. And so those things that they were you know, denied of, they make sure that their children get those things. You want to build a society, educate the people in that society. Son of the late Ghani Fawahimi, Mohammed was also on hand to lend his voice on the issue. Who was Obasanjo's father? Because of education, he rose to become a general and head of state three times. Who was Prime Babangida's father? He rose to become head of state. Who was good luck in Billy Jonathan's father? He's the, he's the, he's the incumbent president today. We only knew of Fashola's father because his son was the governor. Those are the benefits of education. Fashola is a senior advocate today, all due to education. And they, these were people that enjoyed the benefits of free education. Due to education in this country, I believe, we will find the cure for cancer. We will find the cure for spinal cord injury. We will find a cure for multiple sclerosis and all other deadly diseases. But first of all, people must be educated. Earlier, convener of the event, a national coordinator of education rights campaign, Taiwo Soweto, said there was no going back in the Lasso struggle. He said the Lagos state government had invited the students for a debate bordering on some of their demands and expressed optimism that the outcome of the debate will be successful. Save Lasso started on February 1st, 2014 in direct response to the crisis that occurred at the Lagos State University on January 23rd, 2014. It was a crisis which started a day before when 1,292 students who were prevented from registering on the university portal protested to the Vice Chancellor's office to beg him to reopen the portal so that they would be able to complete their registration. The Vice Chancellor refused and he not, he not only refused, he also dehumanized some of the students. The next day, when examination was to start, students grouped together and came out to protest peacefully. The intervention of the police, which consisted of uh, shooting at students, including campus, campus marshals, eventually infuriated students and turned what was a peaceful protest into a riot, and the university was closed down. And immediately, the Save Lives Movement was formed, Save Lives Movement was formed by the Education Rights Campaign, the Lagos State University Students Union, the National Union of uh, Lagos State Students, and radical groups at the Lagos State University. Immediately, the Save Lives Movement was formed. One of the first statements we issued was to clearly draw a clear conclusion and analysis of why the crisis of January 23rd occurred. And we said that for every crisis, there's always an immediate and a root and a remote cause. The immediate cause of the general crisis was the handedness of the Obafumwa-led 
investing management. This gathering comes on the heels of a recent protest by tertiary institution students in the southwest of the country. The placard carrying students had besieged the Lagos state government, demanding, amongst other things, the reversal of tuition fees. They have threatened more protests if the government does not act. Chidima Chikizi, TV360, Lagos.